Let's start. How do you appropriately answer the question, why are you single? How do you appropriately answer the question, why are you single? So I actually did a reel about this and uh, it wasn't well received and I don't care because I'm gonna tell you that there is nothing wrong with the question in itself. There is nothing wrong with asking someone why they're single. I take it as a compliment. If I was single and someone would have asked me, Allison, why are you single? I would take it to mean you seem so amazing. You seem like such a great catch. Seem, no offense, right? Everything's what it seems. So why is it that someone hasn't snatched you up yet? It's a legitimate question. Now, there may be negative connotations that some people choose to put on it, right? However, there is a, a compliment within you seem so great. So why is it that you are available, right? And I think this is a great opportunity for people to share within reason why they are single. It puts yourself in a position to begin to establish what your boundaries are and begin to establish what you're looking for romantically. So when I was single, if someone would have asked me, Allison, why are you single? I would tell them the truth before my husband, right? I would say I was dating someone who wasn't looking to commit. We were together for about four years and he just wasn't able to meet, meet me where I was. As a result, I thought it was best that I move on and find someone who was looking for the level of commitment that I'm looking for. Boom, right? I'm not gonna take it offensively. I'm not here to then describe a resume of all of the things of why I'm so amazing and sell it to you. This is not performative. I'm gonna tell you exactly, what I'm gonna tell you the truth. That's my truth, right? Y'all know this, y'all been with me. That is my truth, so I'm gonna tell it, right? And then it also begins to plant in this person's mind that Allison will leave my ass if I don't commit. So if I'm not looking for that, let me leave this girl alone from now so I can avoid conflict moving forward. Now that's not gonna be everybody, right? There's gonna be some people who's still gonna try to play games, some people who are gonna still try to squeeze something out of you, but plenty of folks are gonna say, and that's enough for me. If I can begin to weed out the foolishness, however and how many I can, I'm going to. If someone says, hmm, this girl Allison is real serious, I'm not here for that level of commitment, let me leave this girl alone, then that's one less person I have to deal with, right? So I'm not gonna take offense I'm gonna answer the question, why am I still single? I'm single because I really was dedicating my 20s to my career, now I'm 28, now I'm 31, I'm well established, I feel good about where I am in my education, I feel real good about where I am in my whatever, right? And so now I feel like it's time for me to create a family, that's what I'm looking for. Start dropping those gems early in the game. You drop the gems early in the game so that people who don't want what you want, which is cool, there's nothing wrong with them not wanting what you want. They don't, it don't make them a F boy, it doesn't make them a bad person, it doesn't make them a hoe. What it does is establish what you want from the beginning in the hopes that some of the people who was looking to play games or looking not for what you're looking for, right? Not an appropriate match. Then they start to weave themselves out. Good. They might ghost you. Good. Who cares? I'm not invested yet, right? I didn't sleep with this person. I haven't spent money on them. I haven't spent years with them. So let them move appropriately. No shame in answering the question, why are you single? Answer it and begin to drop those, those key words that tend to scare people away, let them be scared good. Make sense? Okay.